In this tutorial, we will learn how to use Adobe Flash CS6 to create your own objects or draw your own shapes using a range of tools. So, first thing to do is create a new Action Script 3.0 file. Okay, and then there's a range of tools that you can use to draw shapes, including the Line tool, um, the Shape tools like the Rectangle tool and the Oval tool. Um, you can also use a pencil and the brush tool. So I'm going to grab the brush tool. And for this example, I'll just draw a flower. Okay, so with the brush tool selected, I'm going to grab a color and we'll go with uh, just orange. Okay, and I'm going to draw the petals on this flower. So try and do it neatly. All right. Just holding down the mouse, and dragging. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll draw a circle here to join it all up, making sure that there's no gaps. Okay, so we don't want any gaps here. We we'll make sure that each of these petal shapes is completely sealed, completely closed. So no gaps between the lines. All right, then we can grab the paint bucket tool and we can fill in these individual shapes. So I'm gonna pick a lighter color and I'm just gonna color in these petals. Okay, and then I might grab Paint bucket tool again and just uh, again change the color for the middle so it's a little bit lighter. And then I'll go back to the brush tool and I'll go back to the orange color and just put some specks on there. Okay, there we go. Now, to use this as an object in Flash that we can use over and over again for our animations, we need to grab the selection tool and we need to highlight, so click and drag over the flower and highlight every single piece of this flower, every single part that we just drew. We right click on that, click on convert to symbol and then give it a name. And OK. Now we can move this around and we can use this flower over and over again in our animation. We could um, copy and paste it. We could make multiple copies of this and make them different sizes and different places. We could use them on different layers and different parts of the timeline. But say, for example, I wanted to um, make this flower spin around, I could right click on it create a motion tween and I could click on that motion tween and I could put in a rotation effect so I could get it to rotate clockwise a few times like this okay so that's how you draw your own object and make your own shapes in Adobe Flash CS6 using the different shape brush and paint bucket tools. Okay, thanks for watching.